transactions, putting the pieces together. Imagine you have a click of the mouse that invokes a drop-down list. We'd consider that an EQ list. So the first data element is the click of the mouse, and the second data element is the display of the list. So there'd be two data elements for this external query. Now by clicking on one of the items, the green item in this case, you get detail. So we have an EQ list for the drop-down list and EQ detail. That has five data elements, the four displayed and then the one that's circled. Now, since you can add information, there should be an EI add, external input add, external input delete, since you can delete information, and since you can change information, external input change. Besides the fields, the action key is an additional data element. So there'd be six total data elements for the add, six data elements for the delete, and six data elements for the change. So the external inquiries, two data elements, one FTR, five data elements, one FTR, both of them would be rated as low or three function points. The external input, six data elements with one FTR, it would also be rated as a low. So the transactions, we have an EQ list, two data elements, one FTR, low complexity rated as a three. The add, six data elements, one FTR, it's rated as a low, it's also valued at three. EI delete the same, EI change the same. All these added up together equate to 15 function points. So this one screen that we started with has 15 function points. So it's important to be able to dissect some of these transactions into their logical pieces.